Within this video, we're going to take a look at customary units of length. It's going to be kind of a two-part video. The first part is going to be converting customary units of length. The second part is going to be adding and subtracting customary units of length. So the goal for today, we want you to be able to convert between one customary unit of measurement to another, and then also we want you to be able to add and subtract between customary units of measurement. Now as far as customary units of measurement, what are they? Feet, inches, yards, miles. This is what the United States uses to measure distance. What about the rest of the world? The rest of the world uses the metric unit of measurement, metric units of measurement, for example, kilometers, meters, centimeters, millimeters, and so on. And the United States is just one of the few countries that actually use the customary units of measurement. So a key tip for today, it is important that when you're converting, first of all, you're either going to be multiplying or dividing, and that's it. Okay, we're not going to add or subtract whenever you convert, but something that's important to remember, whenever you go from a larger unit of measurement, okay, to a smaller unit of measurement, you want to multiply. For example, if I'm going from feet to inches, that's larger to a smaller, we're going to be multiplying. If I go from a smaller to a larger, we're going to be dividing. Let's say, for example, I'm going from yards to miles. You can see I have a smaller unit of measurement, and I'm going to a larger. So larger to smaller, I multiply. Smaller to larger, you divide. OK, so some conversions that are important to remember. 12 inches equals 1 foot. Whenever you're dealing with inches to feet or feet to inches, you're either going to be multiplying or dividing by 12. Another one, 36 inches equals 3 feet. 3 feet equals 1 yard, so we could also say 36 inches equals 1 yard here. 5,280 feet equals 1 mile. And then finally, 1,760 yards equals 1 mile. So those are some important conversions that you need to remember whenever we're dealing with customary units of measurement. So my first problem here, we have 12 feet, and we need to figure out how many yards that equals. Okay, so it's important to remember, and I think about my customary units of measurement, I know that feet are smaller than yards. Okay, so in other words, I'm going from a smaller to a larger unit of measurement. So since I'm going from a smaller to a larger unit of measurement, I'm going to be dividing. What am I going to divide by? I'm going to divide by 3. The reason why I'm going to divide by 3, 3 feet equals 1 yard, or 1 yard equals 3 feet. So what I do is I take my 12 feet. I'm going to divide that by 3. 12 divided by 3, pretty simple, equals 4. So 12 feet equals 4 yards. So for my next problem, I have 7 yards, and I'm converting that 7 yards to inches. Okay, so I take a look at this. I'm going from yards to inches. That means I'm going from a larger unit of measurement to a smaller unit of measurement. Just remember, the smaller our units get, the bigger the numbers will be. Okay, so I'm going to take 7. Now I need to figure out whether I'm going to multiply or divide. Larger to smaller means we're going to multiply. What are we going to multiply by? We're going to multiply by 36. Whenever you're converting yards to inches or inches to yards, you're always going to use the number 36 because there's 36 inches in one yard. You have to figure out whether you're going to multiply or divide by it. So since it's from yards to inches, we're going to multiply. So what we do is we take 36. You can even use your calculator for this. 36 times 7. 7 6 times 7 is 42, put my 2 here, carry the 4. 3 times 7 is 21, plus 4 is 25. So 7 yards equals 252 inches. Okay, for my next problem, we're going to take a look at 48 inches equals how many feet? So we take 48 inches equals how many feet? So first of all, we need to figure out whether we're going to multiply or divide. 
we're going from inches to feet. So this is a smaller unit of measurement going into a larger unit of measurement. So because of that, we're gonna divide. What are we gonna divide by? We're gonna divide by 12. Whenever we're working with inches to feet or feet to inches, we're gonna use the number 12 every time. We just need to figure out whether it's gonna be multiplying or dividing by 12. Since it's from smaller to larger unit you know, of measurement, we're gonna be dividing. So what we do is we take 48. Once again, you can use your calculator with it for this. 48 divided by 12 equals four. So 48 inches equals four feet. So for my next problem, we have nine feet, six inches equals how many inches? Okay, so once again, we need to figure out whether we're gonna multiply or divide. I'm going from feet, even though I have inches in here as well, I'm gonna go for feet, I'm gonna go with feet, and I'm gonna convert that to inches. So that is a larger to a smaller, so because of that, we're gonna be multiplying. What are we gonna multiply by? We're gonna multiply by 12, okay? Whenever we're dealing with feet to inches or inches to feet, it's always the number 12. We just need to figure out whether we're going from larger to smaller or smaller to larger, whether we're gonna multiply or divide. So my first step, I'm just gonna worry about my feet right now. I'm gonna take 12 times nine. I know that gives me 108. Okay, now since I'm converting this to inches, what I do is I take my six inches that are left over and I just add them to my 108. And that gives me 114 for my final answer. So nine feet, six inches equals 114 inches. Okay, one other problem that we're gonna take a look at. Let's say we have 80 inches and we need to figure out how many feet that equals and also how many inches that equals, okay? So we're going from inches to feet. So we're going from smaller, because inches are smaller than feet, to larger. That means we're gonna divide. What are we gonna divide by? We're gonna divide by 12, because we're dealing with a conversion between inches and feet. So we take 80, divide that by 12. We can even set up a division house for this. 12 into 80 goes six times, six times 12 is 72. Now I have a remainder left over, a remainder of eight. What that remainder of eight equals, that's how many inches are left over after 12 goes into 80. So 80 inches equals six feet and eight inches. So I take my remainder and that's my leftover for the inches section. One final problem we're gonna take a look at in dealing with our um, measurements here. We're going to take a look at four miles equals how many yards. Okay, so once again we need to figure out what we're, what we're going to do, multiply or divide. We're going from larger, since miles is bigger than yards, so we're going to go from larger unit of measurement to smaller. So since we're going from larger to smaller, we're going to multiply. What are we going to multiply by? 1,760 the reason why we're multiplying by 1,760 is because 1,760 yards equals one mile. So we take 1,760, we multiply that by four. Four times zero is zero. Four times six is 24, put my four there, carry the two. Seven times four is 28, plus two is 30. Put my zero there, carry the three. One times four is four, plus three is seven for 7,040, so four miles equals 7,040 yards. And those are some of the ways that you convert within customary units of measurement. Now we're gonna take a look at part two of today's lesson, which is adding and subtracting customary units of length. The goal for this is to be able to add and subtract the units of length. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna set up a problem 12 yards two feet minus nine yards, one foot. Something like this is pretty simple when you don't have to convert or anything like that. So 12 yards, two feet, minus nine yards, one foot. You simply make sure everything's lined up. Two minus one is one foot. Make sure you label each unit of measurement 12 
yards minus 9 yards equals 3 yards. So something like that is pretty simple. So this is when the problems get a little tricky. Okay, so we take 8 yards 1 foot minus 5 yards 2 feet. Now we have 1 foot and we cannot take away 2 feet from 1 foot. So what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to borrow from the yards. Okay, so we're going to take that 8 yards, we're going to make it into 7 yards. Now it's important to remember your conversions. So how many yards are in a foot? I'm sorry, how many feet are in one yard? We know three feet is in one yard. So instead of making this one into an 11 like we would with normal subtraction, what we have to do since we're bringing one yard over to the feet, what we're going to do, we're going to change that one foot and make it four feet since we're actually adding three feet. Okay, we're adding a yard which is three feet. So we're going to change that one foot. We're going to add three to it make it a four. So now we have seven yards, four feet, minus five yards, two feet. Now we can do simple subtraction. Four minus two is two. And seven yards minus five yards is two yards. So two yards, two feet. Now we're going to take a look at an addition problem where you have to do some conversions as well. So we have 11 inches plus three inches. Well, first of all, we have four feet, 11 inches, plus seven feet, three inches. So we're going to add 11 inches plus three inches. That gives us 14 inches. Now the problem with this is that 14 in inches equals more than one foot. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to subtract 12 inches because we're going to have to regroup 12 inches from 14 inches. And what we have is we have two inches left over and we're going to carry this 12 inches and we're going to bring it over to the foot section here. So we're going to bring over our foot, our 12 inches, making it into a foot. So now we have 1 plus 4 that gives us 5 plus 7 equals 12. So that is 12 feet 2 inches. So it's important to remember whenever you have, whenever you're adding inches, you have a number that's 12 or larger. That means you're going to have to subtract 12 from it and carry your inches over to the foot section so we have 4 feet 11 inches plus 7 feet 3 inches equals 12 feet 2 inches. So here's an example of another problem we have 10 feet 0 inches minus 3 feet 8 inches. First step taking away 8 you cannot do that you cannot take 8 inches away from 0 inches so what we have to do is we have to borrow from our 10 we're going to make that a 9 and since we're bringing a foot over to the inches we're going to make that 12 inches so now we have 12 inches minus 8 inches. We can start subtracting now. It gives us 4 inches. And then we have 9 feet minus 3 feet is 6 feet. So it's important, once again, whenever you borrow, that you do the proper conversion. We don't just make it a 10 like we would with normal addition or subtraction. What we do is we bring over a foot to the inches section, inches columns, that equals 12 inches there. So here is one final problem we're going to take a look at with adding and subtracting measurements. We have 25 yards, 2 feet, plus 8 yards, 2 feet. First of all, 2 and 2 gives us 4 feet. Now we understand that 4 feet is, is greater than a yard. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to subtract 3 feet from our 4 feet. So anything that's 3 or greater within our foot column, when we have yards and feet, we're going to have to convert. 4 feet minus 3 feet is 1 foot. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take these three feet and bring them over and make it into a yard. So that one represents one yard. So now we have one plus five gives us six, plus eight gives us 14. Put my four here, carry the one. One and two gives me three for 34 yards, one foot. And that is how you add and subtract customary units of measurement.